trying to chase to the end of the field before we get there. Nice jump. Up you go. Go on. Up. Up. They don't look quite so mangy this year. Looks like they've had a good summer. Good, well, probably they ate quite well. not so much the zone, it's just that this route is only five kilometers and at ten minutes a kilometer it's fifty minutes, which is not enough. Either I go longer or slower. <laughs> Two ways of dealing with the same situation. So I'm probably going to go slower. I've done my hard workouts already this week. I mean from Christmas Day, actually no, from Christmas Eve until Wednesday, I, I think I walked every day. And then I thought, well, let's try the trails. And when I realized how nice they were, then I ran three days straight. So I wrote myself a, an easier day today. But I noticed that this wind filter is very effective. I could almost be running into a gale and I wouldn't have that horrible arm swing which puts so many people off. Interesting tree this one. It's survived a lot of trauma. and then started again. This house is kind of interesting. It's got a driveway that swings across the corner here. And I believe I remember running through his yard a few times because I thought, oh, what the heck? He's hardly going to come out and tell me not to run on this little driveway. He never did. But then I stopped running through his driveway. Not really, no. seen that house. It's, it's over the rise and down towards the beach that must have a private cove there. Could be. We could either go down Balmacara or we could go down Seaview and then cut through the little laneway to Balmacara. Cute little dogs. Hello. Happy New Year. And to your two dogs. No, it looks a little icy. It looks a little icy and there's a steep bit. <coughs> I think Balmacara is going to be clearer. There might have been some tobogganing going on. 
Robert from the picture of him skiing in the street. Robert from uh, from Calgary? Yeah. Where Vancouver. is he? Vancouver. Okay. He's the ophthalmologist? Or? Yeah. So he was your student, then he became a, an ophthalmologist as well. We wonder how many uh, students that you taught have gone on to great things. Yeah. Some of them would be PhDs themselves. Uh -huh. That's when you were working with Kurnovich. Uh -huh. That's right, you were doing re medical research rather than, um, what's it called now, family medicine, general medicine. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, is basically... Well, fixing holes in the dam. Yeah. Take a few photographs to accompany my little audio. That's a nice house, that one. See, that's the lane where we would have come through if we'd gone down Seaward Terrace. This looks like a large piece of styrofoam. Yep. So two and a half K from home, and we're at the beach. Is this one the one they call Margaret's Cove? No. I know Cormorant Point is just that way. But have I found the Seaward Terrace thing? Because I was trying to get to Cormorant Point. And it, it became private. Certain of trespassing. But at one time there was a footpath that went down there. But uh, I guess the owner of the property changed his mind. I can hear the wind, and I can hear the water crashing on the shore. Oh yeah, it's quite a swell, look at that! Really? Is that because the moon is the on the same side as the sun, I think, pulling? Oh, look at this, you're telling me that, if the tide's high. I'm glad I brought my camera now. There's certainly stuff to take photographs of. I don't think I'll go right to the beach because there's not very much beach there at all now. This is high tide. At its highest. You couldn't walk along the beach today. It would definitely... Not now, but in about an hour. See all those gold orangey things? Those are bits of driftwood. That's how they end up on the beach. Or they wash off the beach. Look at them all. That would be a boating hazard. Just going down a little bit further to get a good spot for photographs. Hi there. Uh -huh. 
back to the beach walk today, no, no. Denied. Access denied. Happy New Year. It's pretty impressive though, all these rocks. Oh, yeah, sure enough. All over the place. I wouldn't like to be both in that. Alright. Bye bye. Was that the day you went to the mystical beach or whatever it's called? Botanical beach? Yeah, I Ah, okay. And that was the uh, Botanical Beach? Or was that Port Renfrew? I know it's you... Been botanical. The one that had a lot of tigers. Yeah, I think it's Botanical Beach. But we were, you know, recently arrived then. We hardly knew I know, anything. I know, but I was working for him. Yeah, yeah, you Not, were... Well, I wasn't working for him. But you were with a group of locals who knew what was going on. So I've heard quite a lot being said about long COVID. Yeah, you can still get long COVID from Malaga. Yeah. Uh -uh. But what but is exactly you... long COVID? So you can't get rid of all the symptoms. Yeah, we have brain fog. Well, I read somewhere of a woman who was being interviewed and she said she had it so bad that she had to either decide to talk or walk because she couldn't do both. Exactly. She didn't have enough air in her to do both. I'm just using running and hiking and walking as a gauge to see how my air levels are. Yeah, but that's another reason why you would want to be taking your, my what? your my. B vitamins. So you recommend I should get some salmon oil, berry oil or salmon oil or whatever it's called? No, that's, that's the omega-3. And if you eat enough fish, you're not able to make it. But the problem is you need to eat those two things together and I don't mean at the same time. Oily fish and uh and bee vitamins. And bee vitamins. That's part of what he showed is that there's been studies where they just tested just the omega 3s and they oh they don't do anything. And then they just tested the B vitamins and the They don't do it. They don't do very much. But you have to do it in combination. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he discovered why you have to do it in combination. And I'll get all this by watching to the end of the video or listening yeah, I mean, to the end. Yeah, because he puts up these charts. Yeah. And, I mean, he's very well organized. There's, you know, there's a lot of stuff on there, but he, he summarizes and whatever, so you get the point. Yeah. But he's talking to a, a, an intellectual crowd. He's not talking to... Yeah, well, it was a conference. A conference. And, uh, I think he was the last, last person to speak or something, because he says, oh, and Bruce told you all about that. Yeah, well, I didn't see Bruce talk, so. Yeah. Um, he was probably practicing his lines. It's like, it's possibly so Would you rather go along the road? I'm going to go through with Ferndale Woods. All right, well, let's go on the road then. You don't want the dogs yapping around here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they can sense that. They can. they can smell it. They smell fear. And I was just watching one that was talking about horses. Yeah. And it's finally understood about how the horses can really talk. Because he was saying to the, the woman, uh, she was a little frightened. He was saying, you know, on the back of your horse is a horse fly, and he knows exactly where that horse fly is and what it might do. Yeah. So you can imagine if you were sitting there gripping him hard. He can sense it. He can sense that. He knows when you're pulling too hard on the reins. Like, these guys are, not only are they smart, it's just... Like if somebody's tapping you, yeah. you know it. Yeah. 
So you can, you should be thinking about caressing letting, the horse. I'm letting them yeah. give them their horses. They know how to walk. They know how to use the truck. You don't have to tell them. You don't have to. <gasps> yeah. Because that just gets them, and they're they're so good at like she was riding, and there were places where there were bears, and the horse knew far before she ever knew that it shouldn't go there because it could either smell the bear or hear the bear or whatever. <laughs> but it really worked. Like the horse, instead of trying to keep fucking her off, he just calmed her down when she So the dogs are the same way. Yeah. I'm pretty good with dogs. They, they, they don't... They, occasionally they get too firmly. I don't like that. Yeah, well, when they get too close, I want you to... <coughs> No. no, no, that, they could sense the aggression there. Were you ever bitten by a dog yeah. as a kid? Yeah. Oh. My friend Alistair, he had to have a dog put down because the dog lunged at some nurse that came visiting and because of all the political stuff going on, he basically had to do the right thing and have his dog euthanized because yeah. it attacked somebody but really and truly if it hadn't have been a nurse at our end she was frightened she 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 probably put up the alert that there's a crazy dog in that house yeah, because if it was a child a child could get a bite on the face or on yeah there's one of those outdoor saunas yeah, no no the one we saw before was on Lockside. oh it's the same company yep yeah, same company, the old log barrel. Luckily, the lens isn't too clear, otherwise you wouldn't get much privacy there. <coughs> you could always have it facing the other way, so that you'd be looking out onto the ocean or something. No, it didn't get through, or maybe it did and it just melted. There is a footpath that starts just around here. No, a footpath. <laughs> a footpath. See, they've been doing some woodwork here. Nice bit of firewood there. Anyway, so we're not really going to go down to Glencoe Cove, we're just going to go back up Ferndale. We've seen the sea, we've seen the ocean. Yep, yep, they're putting in some natural uh, wildlife, not wildlife, flora. The flora and the fauna. See, this place doesn't even look as if the frost got to it. It's all, yeah, but not much. It's kind of protected here. Time 34 minutes, distance 2.92 kilometers, cadence 51, yeah. average heart rate 116. Yeah, that's average right. 11 minutes 38 seconds per kilometer. Mm -hmm. And with the w wind coming off the ocean, heavily mo moistened, probably quite warm as well. Seven, wow. I wonder what that is in Fahrenheit. 27, something like that? No, it must be over 30, because 32 is freezing. So 7 Celsius would be... Yeah. Uh-huh. So you might see some Arbutus berries. They won't show up so well as in the snow. No. But that's the other thing about the Arbutus tree. It doesn't flower and, and shed berries at the same time. It's all over the place. It does all, the, all year round. Hi. Happy New Year. Same to you. They always say that Arbutus is a very messy plant to have on your property because it's always shedding leaves or berries. Oak is, oak is more predictable, but yeah. when the acorns are heavy, that's... Yeah, and 
Yeah. And this is that tree that has the uh, designation on it as a feed tree for birds yeah. and insects. So we're just getting back to Ferndale Road and then it's straight back up the hill to our neighborhood. So I'll say goodbye to you now. Bye-bye.